Okay, my friends, it's time we stood up and said, look, we want some answers here. These are the particles they're looking for at CERN and Fermilab and Brookhaven and everywhere, spending tr literally trillions of dollars. And we found those same exact particles. And they say these have never been found before, which are these neutrinos. The muon neutrino, which is the black ball, and the electron neutrino, which is the white ball. And here they are right there. These are the neutrinos, the black and the white. And this is only gravity, and that is only energy. And this is dark matter, never changes the size. And so we have created the sterile muons because we remove them from the electron neutrinos. So the muon neutrino becomes a regular muon, sterile muon. The new electron neutrino turns into an electron shower. No question we did that. Absolutely none. And this is the same particle they found at Fermi Lab and CERN and all of them. And we can do this in copious quantities. You see right there, nobody will speak to me at all. Sterile neutrino. The search for sterile neutrinos is an active area of particle physics. They can't find them. I got them. And this is, good. this is the new model of physics. They're dipoles. They're not just big, gigantic, positive cores which are protons. A proton is made of 1835 dipoles in each one of these and we created the sterile muon, sterile neutrino and we created the electron showers. This is no big question about this. I just want, the question is why won't they speak to me about it? All right, really all I'm asking for is to, to be part of the discussion. I don't want to start trouble but they, these are the smallest particles they can find, and those are the exact same particles I showed you. And they react precisely the way Don Lincoln says. The, the fixed size one, the black one, is the muon neutrino, and it might have a fuzzy edge, which it does, but it's a fixed size, never changes. The point-like particles are, are mathematical extractions. He says zero size, but they have a field effect that makes them energetic. I agree with that 100%. Now, they're asking, do you have any questions? I Yes, I had the questions, and I asked them. And they said, well, how did you photograph these, these um, particles? And I said, using a cell phone. And that's when they cut me off. And this is today at fnal.gov. I don't see why they shouldn't look at my information. I, and they're spending our money. So I, I would hope a lot of you people will, will send them an email and say, I do have a question. Why won't you look at the research that Roger Spur did? He has, and then point them to this particular video. I have the goods. I have the goods to, to cover what I'm saying. I'm not making anything up.